Hello, welcome to another video podcast on neuroanatomy. In this video, we'll be talking about the Broca's motor speech area. Uh, so let's start as usual by orientating the pro section. So what we can see over here is basically a left lateral view of the cerebral cortex. We can see the frontal lobe in the front over here, and we can see the cerebellum and the occipital lobes at the back. Uh, we have an important sulcus over here on the supralateral surface, and you all probably know the name of this sulcus by now. This is the central sulcus. The central sulcus separates the motor frontal lobe in the front uh, from the parietal uh, sensory lobe at the back. Although, just to let you know, uh, this um, uh, demarcation between the motor sensory areas of the brain is sometimes misleading. Uh, the motor and sensory areas of the brain, uh, they really work in coordination with each other. And so uh, even in even uh, uh, the sensory stimulation, the sensory areas, uh, when they get stimulated, there is some kind of a motor activity associated with it. But we're going to stick to that simple generalization of division of brain into the motor and sensory areas. Uh, another important sulcus, which you have to know uh, in uh, context of this Broca's motor speech area, is this lateral sulcus. Because uh, the Broca's area is closely associated with this sulcus, you can see the lateral sulcus has different uh, rami to it. This is the anterior horizontal ramus. This would be the anterior ascending ramus of the lateral sulcus. And then the lateral sulcus continues backwards as the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus. Right. So now the next question is where is the uh, Broca's motor speech area situated? Well, it is situated uh, in the inferior frontal gyrus. Uh, now, we in one of our previous video podcasts, we did talk about something which is known as the inferior frontal sulcus, which is inside the prefrontal cortex. Uh, so uh, because of this inferior frontal sulcus, there's a gyrus which is created underneath it, which is known as the inferior frontal gyrus. This is where the Broca's motor speech area is found. It is found, um, to be more specific, it is found in the inferior frontal gyrus um, between the anterior uh, horizontal and the anterior ascending rami of the lateral sulcus and also a little bit between the anterior ascending and the posterior ramus. So this is where the Broca's motor speech area is situated, color-coded in blue. This is also known as the Broadman's area 44 and 45. Now, in majority of the individuals, this area is, uh, it, the area is important on the left or the dominant hemisphere, and that is why we're looking at the left hemisphere of the brain over here. An ablation or any lesion in this region will, will result in the paralysis of the motor component of the speech. Uh, the ablation of this region in the non-dominant hemisphere, which is mostly the right hemisphere, that has no effect on the uh, on the speech or on the loss of speech. However, in some instances, uh, the Broca's area might be situated. The, the dominant hemisphere is the right hemisphere, which is uncommon, which is less common. Usually, it's the left hemisphere, which is the dominant hemisphere. But if the right hemisphere uh, is the dominant one, then the speech motor speech could be affected by an impairment of the by by any lesion in the right hemisphere but usually it is the left hemisphere which has a broca's motor speech area in it right so what does the broca's speech area do well it is basically concerned with the motor aspect of the speech it is responsible for bringing about the formation of the words uh, by its connections with the adjacent primary motor areas uh, such as the uh, motor areas inside the precentral gyrus, which are concerned with, let's say, the mo mo movements of the muscles of the larynx, the mouth, and the tongue, and the soft palate, and so on. Right, so now, uh, the motor speech area, uh, the thing which is uh, important to know is that any destructive lesion in the in the inferior frontal gyrus, where the Broca's motor speech area is situated, that would result in a loss of ability to produce the speech. In other words, what I'm trying to say is that that would result in an expressive aphasia. Aphasia uh, means there is loss of speech, uh, so there is an impairment of the speech, but only the motor component of the speech will be affected. Uh, the patients, however, will retain the ability to think about the words and they know what they wish to say, 
uh, they can write the words and they can understand their meaning when they see the words or hear them. It's just that uh, they cannot express the words out of their mouth. So, uh, in other words, what we, um, what, what uh, I'm trying to say is that you know these kind of patients, they they can understand what you uh, what you tell them. If you ask them a question, they can comprehend that question. Uh, they can read something, and um, if there's a, if some instruction written on a piece of paper, for example, they can read it and understand that instruction. They can hear that instruction, uh, and so their audit auditory component is intact as well. So the comprehension of the speech is pretty much intact. It's just that they are not able to formulate the motor command uh, to execute those words out of their mouth. So these patients, typically when we see these patients, in the hospital wards or in the clinics they are really frustrated because of the fact that they can understand what the other person is uh, telling them or asking uh, from them and they know what they want to say as well but they just cannot execute those words they cannot form a motor plan and they cannot cannot execute those words out of their mouth right so in this video to summarize we talked about the broca's motor speech area uh, we said that the speech has a motor component to it and it has a sensory component to it as well the sensory component area so the sensory component of the speech is intact when there is a lesion in the broca's uh, speech area the motor component of the speech that gets impaired thank you very much